your girl to me if you are and you're tuned into another video here on my channel so yay for you thank you so much for tuning in today as you can tell by the title today we are thrifting we are in brooklyn i'm already here at the thrift store this thrift store is called l train vintage for those of you who thrift a lot and you live in new york you've probably already heard of it it's a really popular thrift store i'm hoping i find some really good pieces today i'm going to take you guys through the process of just looking through the clothes and picking them out and things like that showing you how much everything costs and then at the end of this video when i go home i'm gonna try everything on for you guys so you guys can see how it fits how it works because obviously in the middle of everything that's going on right now i won't be trying anything in in store anything on in store so let's just hope it fits you feel me but yeah we're here we're about to get into hopefully it hopefully we get some good fun this is tracy this is her first time thrifting so i'm hoping she really really likes it and yeah we're about to go inside yes, sir. and get to it Okay, so I've been really looking for some cargo army fatigue pants. These are only $10, so I'm about to hold these up to me. Hopefully, it's not too dramatic of a baggy fit. But they have a lot of options going on, which is always a bonus, always a plus. Like, these black jeans are super cute, too. I'm about to look at these as well. Some polo pants. I really needed some new cargo pants. And I wanted the baggier type, anywho, so we're about to see. But it looks like all the pants are $10 to $15 in this section. These are super big, but these are super cute. Oh my they're god, they're really huge. huge. But really just need an elastic at the top. That's what it is. And you could do that yourself. Looking like these. I'm gonna hold these. These I'm thinking about, but I really like the camo ones. If I'm not showing you guys the clothes too much that well right now, I apologize, but I'm definitely gonna give you guys, like I said, a little try on haul once I get back to my apartment with this stuff, so don't even worry about it. Got a lot of stuff. We've got this flannel right now. And she's super cute. I feel like this jeans would be cute, like fall vibes. Then we've got this crew neck because I literally love crew necks. Wear them all day. This is like a chill kind of vibe. Still got the jeans from earlier. I don't know if y'all saw that. So this is how the front looks. This is how the back looks. Shouldn't fit, in comparison to my waist, it shouldn't fit too baggy on my waist. If anything, I'll just throw it on with the oversized belt. Like, these two pair so cute. And then, last thing I got. These pants. This is the back though. And this is the front. Yeah, this is the front. What's up gang? So we're back in the crib. Obviously I look different elephant in the room it's a few days later i decided to film this part of the video a little bit later because when i got home that day after thrifting i was low energy i was tired i was doing a lot around around that day which you would know if you watch my weekly vlog so definitely tune into those if you haven't already but i'm about to try on all the stuff that i got from l train guys i didn't get too much stuff honestly i didn't get like a buttload of stuff but i got enough stuff that was super cute you know what i'm saying i didn't want to just get things just to get things to fill up the video i actually wanted to get stuff that i really wanted slash needed so this is the bag they give you like a little paper brown bag they're super cute i'm a fan it just says l chain vintage on it and i'm gonna show you guys the stuff i got so this stuff that i'm wearing right now obviously is not from l chain vintage but we're about to get into trying everything on so first things first i got this super cute flannel now guys if you want a super cute flannel you want that oversized plaid aesthetic for your fall vibes because i feel like that's such a fall vibe i would definitely thrift because i just feel like i've ordered one from like different online retailer little boutiques you know what i'm saying the regular degulus and it just doesn't hit like it doesn't look as cute or as oversized it doesn't have like i honestly like when it looks a little like worn you know what i'm saying because i feel like that really gives like that full vintage cozy baggy vibe but i just don't get that when i buy them brand new so if you want a flannel definitely go thrifting they had so many there but this is how this one fits 
and I just love the navy like I feel like the navy is just given I would honestly wear it with this exact outfit I might even take pictures in this outfit so you know what I'm saying follow me on the gram but this is so cute it fits super baggy and just like wow like guys and it's cozy on the inside there's like this little lining it's like a cozier type of lining i'm not explaining it but it's super nice and warm and i feel like this is perfect to throw on when it's like sunny in the daytime and it's still a little warm but then at night it's gonna get cooler and a little bit colder you know those fall days where it's like low-key summer in the day but fall at night this is the perfect thing for those days because I could even like wear this around my waist or off the shoulder like this or like, hold on, one shoulder on, one shoulder off during the day. But then when the nighttime comes, bam, just put the thing on fully and I'm nice and I'm cozy like. And obviously with thrifting, I can't leave links down below or anything like that. But y'all could definitely, you know, go to your local thrift store and I'm sure you'll find a flannel. Like you might not find this exact flannel, but you'll probably find something really similar. So get you one of these and paired with this like denim these denim jeans are from pretty little thing i featured them in a previous haul and i will link them down below if you guys are interested in these jeans with this little like asymmetrical thing but they're not from this thrifting haul but you know i'll put you guys on a game anywho but um yeah this is like just so cute like and look at the buttons like come on look at the buttons Come on, it's giving. It's giving fall. It's giving like 90s. Like, if I put on a dark lip liner, I would just be giving all the action. I looked in the mirror just now. If you were wondering what the hell is she just looked at the side like that, it's because it's a mirror. But let me just put on the next thing for you guys. Stop rambling. Okay, so the next thing I got for you guys is this like crew neck. It's so cute. It's like this dark gray color. And I love this shady gray. It's almost like charcoal gray. I feel like this low key complements my skin tone. I just love grays, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not black and it's not white, but it's still like a basic color that goes with everything but it's not black and it's not white you know what i'm saying so i picked this up it has like this cute little stitching detail like this little v stitch into the top of the sweater a lot of crew necks have this actually and i love this let me try it on for y'all this was literally six dollars which is crazy because if i would have bought this from the regular store it probably would have been like at least 15 dollars but this is how it fits a little oversized it's not too big you know what i'm saying like low-key little baggy like i'm over that tight stage in my life i like a little bit of breathability you know what i'm saying i just feel like i could be so much more chill comfy vibey <laughs> in my baggier clothes you know what i'm saying so i really actually love this baggy sweater can you see how excited i'm getting like this sweater is everything it's just giving like it's such a basic sweater i've honestly already posted it on my instagram because i'm just a fan it's a 10 out of 10 and i love this sweater also because i love layered necklaces like i'm always wearing layered chains i'm actually not today i just have on one because i'm feeling lazy today and i feel like putting a bunch on but Typically, I put on some layered chains and you would see it, you know what I'm saying? Like it lays easier than a hoodie would so that I could still show off my little layered jewelry. And, you know what I'm saying, if I wanted to put a coat over this, I just feel like it's easier. Everything's easier with a crew neck. So that's why I cop this. Definitely feeling the crew neck vibes all full long. All right, so the next thing I'm showing you guys is this pair of camo pants i'm holding my hand behind myself because they're a little bit baggy like in terms of my waist they don't fit my waist and they would hang down a little bit too much for the youtube you know what i'm saying not trying to get banned or anything but um i just tucked up my crew neck sweater so that you guys can kind of see the pants a lot better but i will say a lot of the pants in l chain vintage had the camo pants that have this thing on the side where i could adjust like this the fit in terms of my waist but unfortunately like it still wasn't enough and i'm just gonna get these tailored and taken in because they're so cute like let me give you guys better views hold on okay so now you guys can better see the pants and how they fit and this is what i've got going on they do go down all the way to my ankle which i love and the ankle has this little stringy thing so i can make it like taper you know what i'm saying almost like as if there was an elastic at the ankle right now i just left it baggy because that's what i like and then this is what i mean in terms of the waist not fitting like this is how much i would need to get taken in but i'm thinking i'm just gonna add an elastic up here just so it fits a little tighter i was saying that in the vlog portion of this video but yeah i'm really a fan of these pants they're super cute this is how the back looks 
It has like the little pockets on them and everything. It has pockets on the front. And it's just super cute. Like I was saying before about the um, flannel, I feel like with camo pants, they just don't necessarily fully give the right aesthetic when you get them straight out the store. But when you get them from, when you thrift, they just look a lot better. They look a lot more worn and they're just a lot cuter. Like I just feel like you look a lot swaggier when you thrifted your pants. All right guys, so now I have on the next thing that I'm ready to show you guys, which is this pair of jeans. And let me just tell you guys already from Jump, I love these jeans. Like they are the perfect shade of blue. I've been looking for jeans a shade of blue for so long and I just feel like this is the kind of thing that you don't get at the store. Like I can't explain that to you guys enough that this isn't the kind of thing you get at the store. Like definitely go thrifting. One because it's eco-conscious, you know what I'm saying? And it's very beneficial for our planet to get your clothes from a thrift shop. Let me not say that I do that all the time. If you can look at my channel and see the hauls. It's definitely not something that I always do. It's something that I should do more. But I definitely think that if you're watching this video and you know you're easing into thrifting, that you should do it more because there are things that honestly will look better than buying it straight from the store. But these are so cute. You can't tell me anything with these jeans on. Let me give you guys the views. Also, side note, if you hear the background noise, that's just my roommate taking a shower. Just bear with me, you know what I'm saying? It's just, think of it as white noise. Just don't pay attention to that. Focus on me. All right, now to show you guys the jeans. This is how the jeans are fitting. They do go all the way down to my, past my ankles, honestly, which I love because I'm pretty tall. And they are like the camo pants, too baggy in the waist. So what I see a lot of people do is wear them with like a cute, belt like an oversized belt kind of vibe and just let them gather which is super cute or I might honestly get them taken in because that's just like not fully my aesthetic and it wouldn't be too much to take in literally just a little bit on either side and I would be good to go or even add an elastic like I said I would do for the camo pants but this is how the back looked and this is partially why I got these because I love this little um square pocket thing this little square thing on the pocket i think that's so cute they don't really do that to jeans anymore nowadays but i love these i love the wash on them and i can't wait to style them and pair them with some super cute shit like these with a cute pair of sneakers and just like a cute graphics here honestly these with that flannel would go crazy like obviously i'm super excited about everything i got today i hope you guys enjoyed watching me try everything on honestly it wasn't too much stuff but i feel like it was the right amount of stuff because you want to get like good pieces you know what i'm saying you don't want to buy clothes just buy them so that's why i got the things that i got i just needed to a little bit of upgrade to my full wardrobe you know what i'm saying like a really cute pair of vintage jeans that i could throw on with a bunch of stuff i definitely think thrifting is good for basics and if it's your first time going thrifting just go in there and give it a try you know what I'm saying? Go in there open-minded and just roam the store even if you don't get anything your first time because my roommate went with me as you guys saw. It was her first time and she was a little overwhelmed because there's just so many different things to look at when you go into a thrift store but honestly don't worry about it. Don't feel pressure. Just go in, look through stuff. If you get some, you get some. If you don't, you don't. I'm really happy with the stuff I got. I hope you guys liked it too. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. And bye. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Bye. Bye. I'm going to catch you in the next one. I said bye. Bye. I'm going to catch you in the next one. In the next one. Oh, oh, oh. Excellent.